Jeffrey Bliss uh, just recently went on a rant against his teacher in a Texas school near Dallas, and the rant went viral. Now, I think that it's an excellent rant, especially because he's accusing the teacher of not really teaching the class and just giving them packets and having them learn things on their own. Now, take a look at this rant, and then we'll discuss. Freaking lady, go off on kids, because they don't freaking get this crap. Yeah. If you would just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet, yo. There's kids in here who don't learn like that. Bye. They need to learn face to face. Bye. Or you're just getting mad because I'm pointing out the obvious no, and you're too late. wasting my time. No, I'm not wasting your time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what you need to do. Get out. You want kids to come into your class? You want them to get excited yeah, for this? You, you gotta come in here, you gotta make them excited. You want a kid to change and start doing better? You gotta touch his freaking heart. Can't expect a kid to change if all you do is just tell him. You got to you got to take this job serious. This is the future of this nation. Uh, I like this guy and I like the hand motions too. He was so passionate about what he was saying and um, you know he did not face any consequences from the administrators at the school which I find a little surprising because usually stuff like this happens and then they'll get sent to prison for terrorism or something, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, terroristic acts, uh, you know, threatening the teacher like this is so I'm yeah, I'm shocked that he's not expelled, arrested, etc. in the in the new police state. Right. Thanks God. Now the teacher has been placed on a paid administrative leave and uh, it is pending an investigation to see whether or not she is actually an effective teacher or if she's just passing out packets and not doing her job. But uh, Damn, his rant worked. His rant yeah. did work, which is kind of incredible. And he also alleges that uh, during one class she walked in and she said, whatever, this is just my paycheck. I don't know if that's true, that's what he alleges. But the investigation is important and if she really isn't an effective teacher and she doesn't really like her job, I mean, I think that putting her on blast isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. You've got to hold everyone accountable in any other workplace. Like, if I don't do my job, if you have a rant or someone else has a rant, maybe I should listen and do something differently. I'm amused by that idea. So Anna comes in here, and instead of presenting the story, she just lays down a pamphlet. <laughs> I'm like, what am I supposed to do with the read, pamphlet? Read the story for yourself. <laughs> I'm like, no, you've got to do this with passion. And you've got to get people excited about the stories, not just pamphlets. So um, uh, Jeffrey Bliss actually reminded me of a young jank. Really? Because right? didn't oh, yeah. you argue with your teachers all the time and give all them a hard time? All the time. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you a really funny story about this. So mm -hmm. the one time I was wrong, I was, I think I was right a lot of times, but one time uh, Mrs. Miller caught me uh, looking over Paul Calamia's test a little bit, mm -hmm. okay, and I was a really good student, and but I felt so embarrassed about it. it was seventh grade, and so I went on this tirade. I overreacted, you know, which is what ha happens in real life all the time, right? right. And so I was like, it, you know, with the gay guys who uh, when they're like, oh, I hate gays, etc. I'm like, no, I don't. I'm not. I wasn't cheating. I wasn't cheating at all. What's the matter with you? And then I did some obnoxious thing. I mean, as a little kid, I was in seventh grade, like I said, to, to excuse it. But I'm like, I have a 92 percent average in this class. Why would I cheat? Nah. Yeah. And I'm doing this just like he did in front of the class. And then one of the girls in class uh, at the end, when I stopped for a second, was like, Jank, your fly is open. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> Devastating. So you were already embarrassed, and then oh. now it's like, you know, two layers deep. No, totally. <laughs> then I had to walk to the principal's office and shut my fly, and I'm like, <laughs> That's what I get for being wrong about it. And I'm sorry, Mrs. Miller. So you really didn't get laid much in high school? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, if in seventh grade I had gotten a kiss on the cheek, oh, I would have been seventh heaven. That would have been the best I could hope for.